Hello creatives and welcome back to our listen and share series for the month of July. This is day 27 and I am in beautiful Chicago. There's the bean, the big silver bean behind me. And I'm currently in Millennium Park and have just had a fun day out. And so I'm here to bring you your message for the day. And the message for the day is all about creative dates. As creatives, um, and actually almost anyone, but especially for creatives, I found that we get our inspiration for almost anywhere. We get our our inspiration from, we can get our information, hold up, let me start over, okay. We can get our inspiration from movies, from songs, from food that we eat, from artwork that we see, We can get our inspiration from watching people on the train (laughs) or walking down the street. We can get our inspirations from museums, art museums, fashion museums, clothing museums, hair museums. We can get our inspiration from our fellow creatives that we see on YouTube or, you know, different galleries. We can get our inspiration from architecture. Look at this. I don't know if you were able to really see it, but... We can get our inspiration from so many things. And so um, being out, getting out in the open, not only, this is kind of, this is the message for me, honestly. Getting out, being visible, being seen, making connections. You never know who you're gonna run into. You never know what they're doing or how that connection can turn into something greater or just an opportunity to meet another really cool human being, you know? But taking the time to get out. And so when it comes to our creativity and taking that time to not only pour into ourselves as a point of self-love, as a point of building our confidence, as a point of understanding our own self-worth, um, it works for all of that. But especially when we are wanting to expand creatively, wanting to expand our craft um, and just kind of fill our bucket because fill, not F-E-E-L, <laughs> but Fill up our bucket. Um, you know the saying that you can't you can't give from an empty well. It's very true. And as creatives, we are giving of ourselves. We're giving pieces of ourselves. It's like when you have an art exhibit, those are your babies up there. Do you know? When you um, write a song and perform it in front of others, or you write a song for someone else, their voice may be on it, but that's that was inspired from you, right? That idea, that thought. Sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and hear a song rolling through your mind like, oh my gosh, let me find whatever I can find and sing this groggily into the phone um, recording so that I can remember it when I'm actually awake. There's so many things. And so I just wanted to share the message of taking time to take actual dates for yourselves. Creative date is what I like to say and this was originally inspired I would normally just go anyway um, but being more intentional this was inspired by a book entitled The Artist's Way it's a really old book meaning it's been around for a very very long time and it was written by a creativity coach actually and so many great nuggets in there but one of the, the things that she gave that she shared and that she if you've read the book, it's kind of like you're working through it. It's almost like a, a program within itself, even though it's a book. She inspires you and encourages you. In fact, it is your duty to take weekly dates. And it can be as expensive or as inexpensive as you would like them to be. But it's a date by yourself to go out and explore. <laughs> I love this area because families come here a lot. Um, and when I lived here in Chicago, my, my children and I were always over here. So these dates can look like, I'll give you some examples of dates that I've taken. I've gone to local art museums at colleges that maybe were like a few dollars of that. I've gone to big museums, you know. I've gone to theatrical shows. I've gone to concerts at churches. Um, I've gone to outdoor festivals. I have got a book, went to a bookstore and bought a book. Um, 
that expanded me, whether it's like get out of your head, something fun to read. And then I went to a nice coffee shop and I sat down and I read it. I went and got some paint supplies. I, you know, things like that. So it can be as, you know, expensive, however much you want to spend or however little you want to spend. You have that opportunity to, to mix it up a bit. But the point is to get your inspiration going and to take time for yourself, to pour back into you, to see other people around you, to see the colors, to feel inspired with life. Not just the everyday, everyday, not just the responsibilities that you may or may not have, not just those things, but other things that are fun (laughs) and that pours back into you and expands you as a creative as an artist and I say this not because like oh I'm a creative and this is for creatives but when we truly understand the gift that we have when we truly understand the power of the creative arts it changes everything you all it changes lives it breaks off stuff that words alone can't do and studying the expressive arts therapy um, it has really helped me to further understand why this gift works, why the arts work with the mind and the emotions and even spiritual aspects, why the arts work. I mean, because it taps into levels within our body that words alone can't do. Colors have healing effects. Think about what color the hospitals are. Think about colors of nurseries think about what colors are generally attributed to children think about music and the vibrations of music why we like go wild when we hear a certain song or at a certain frequency at a certain volume it changes things how people can go into a a theater and see a piece that's not exactly the same to their lives but is similar and get the message from that piece and apply it to their own life when they're moved, when they're touched, when they're inspired, how you can go and see a movie and it moves you to tears. And even though you're crying because of whatever's happening on the screen, that allows a breakthrough for you, for that emotion that you've been holding in. So I'm just like, I can go on and on and on, but this is the power that we have. This is the power that we have. And it is so time for us to own it, own it, own it, own it. But in order to own it, we gotta hone it. And in order to hone it, we have to have space, energy, inspiration, joy, love, passion. Reignite that passion. If you feel a little worn out, if you feel like there's so many blocks, don't stay in with the curtains closed in front of the TV all the time. Get out. So that's what I just did. I'm finishing up my date for today. Um, I ended up coming downtown and I was just walking and random people were just talking, stopping me, talking. I went by the river walk. It was amazing. Got some Nutella gelato, gelato um, which was delicious. And then I went to the Art Institute of Chicago and it was an hour left and I got a discounted kind of ticket. So that was like, ooh, ooh, because <laughs> I don't live in Chicago anymore, Illinois anymore. So I can't get that discount. Um, but it was so much fun and I feel great and I feel inspired. So I hope you can feel this energy through the camera through this video and if you haven't already go ahead and get your next or your first creative date on the calendar and until then until tomorrow live fully live abundantly live joyfully bye